welcome back to What RT Nibs for Channel Disturbance. This is a Sexton 1. It's a Tier 3 British Premium SPG. One of only two Premium SPGs in the game. And this one is on the North Spawn of Mines and it's under the command of Dr. Dip. Just waiting for the countdown. Game started. Okay, let's see what he's going to do with it. Now the Sexton 1 is very similar to the Sexton 2. There's a slight difference in the appearance of the vehicle because there's a couple of boxes on the back of a Sexton 2 which don't appear on the Sexton 1. And the Sexton 1 was the vehicle that was actually first built uh, in Canada and uh, then shipped over to the UK. And the UK had a big need for uh, SPGs and that was after the fall of France. Okay, well Dr. Dips found his firing position and he's got his 25 pounder gun ready to go. Now first target was a T-16 but he's lost sight of it so instead he's going for the Panzer S-35. The spot he's firing from is called Nigel's spot and yes I discovered it quite a few years ago and uh, it's quite a, an OP firing position. In fact so OP that Wargaming actually did make some changes to try and stop it being so OP. But of course they can't stop us using it. Okay, well. Fired around at the Panzer S35 just landed short of him. Just in front of him. But you can see from this position you're actually firing into the side of a vehicle who's supposedly hiding from tanks in the north. But he's not really hiding so well. And that cruiser too, well he thinks he's safe as well. But unfortunately he's not. No, he's actually in grave danger and he's about to get smacked by a 25 pounder round. Rounds out. <laughs> You've got to laugh at that. One shot it out of the game just like that. I said he was in danger. Yes, he was. Okay. I know it's terrible. I've got this Dr. Evil like laugh when I see an enemy tank blow up because they chose to go to the wrong spot but you have gotta admit it is funny that somebody would actually go there and they get one shotted well that S35 he's on de big danger now but that shot was a bit premature because he wasn't fully dialed in at that moment but he is dialing in now and now he's gone to battle assistant mode to actually see what's gonna happen to the shell and he's gone as well so that's two kills two one shot kills that he's managed to make shows how powerful that position is it really is quite deadly and I've actually shown other replays from that particular spot which are well to put it bluntly they're absolutely amazing watching uh, enemy tanks fall to um, shells that are coming from the Nigel spot or from C1 okay well we know that there's a Panzer 38 there he's hiding behind that rock We've got plenty of ammunition. In fact, you've got enough ammunition in the Sexton 1 to keep firing for the entire battle long and not run out. Admittedly, they are only high explosive rounds, and that means that you can only do 280 alpha if you do penetrate the target. But you will penetrate up to 44 millimeters of armor, and that usually is enough to do a lot of damage at tier 3, especially if it's a tier 2 tank. But this is an all tier 3 game. And unfortunately it's not going well at the moment because they are one tank down. <laughs> He's just one shotted the T-16 as well. So yet another kill. That's three kills he's had so far from just one shot fired at each of them. They're doing not so well actually. The team are three tanks down on the enemy. I'm afraid they've lost control of the entire east side of the map. The Panzer 38T can't see uh, anybody on the eastern side. So we have to assume that the enemy tanks are coming around that corner. If they've spotted it, then yeah, they'll probably be coming up that way. But at the moment, we're trying to deal with these tanks. And we have got a solution on that Panzer 38T. If he stays where he is. Oh, well, we can definitely hit that T-16 now. We know where he is and we're just dialing in the position. Be ready in about... Three to four seconds. Almost ready. Let it get nice and tight. Rounds out. And he's got another one-shot kill. Just taking down another T-16. That's absolutely hilarious. 
So the score's still three difference. Seven kills to Dr. Dip's team and ten kills to the enemy. And yes, they have come around the east side. An S35 has appeared. It's the Panzer S35. It's got extra armor. Slightly better. It's the German version of the Samur S35. And he's one-shotted that one as well. So that's... What is that? Four tanks he's one-shotted? Now, this is um, not an advertisement for the Sexton one or for Nigel's spot, but it does sort of like indicate in the hands of the right player, this spot can be pretty deadly. There's a one slight flaw in this game, though, and that's because nobody on Dr. Dip's team have actually gone onto the island just to the south of him. So he doesn't know if there's any enemy coming over that island, and more than likely there will be some enemy making their way over it, the only thing he's got to protect him at the moment is the T-29 and the M-1542 who are up on that little plateau at A4 and they might spot an enemy tank coming over the water or over the island but at the moment he doesn't know if that Panzer II G is on its way. There's a good possibility that one of them is coming over. And if they are, well, it could be very difficult for him. The Panzer 38T is having a quick look. If anything, I'd pre-aim for that Panzer 38T that he saw in Grid Square H4. Because that's the one I think that might pop his nose out and get spotted by our Panzer 38T. But he's gone back around the corner. And he's trying to look over the edge of the cliff, I think, to see what he can see. Ah, oh, now he's found the Panzer 2G, who did relocate. Now, we might be able to get a shot at that Panzer 2G if he moves around this way. He's being very cautious now as well. Can we get a shot at him? Well, maybe. Rounds out. Well, it landed near the spot. Near the spot, but not on it. We've lost sight of the Panzer 2G as well. The M15's gone off to the east to see if he can spot any of the enemy. And the T29, well, he's heading over towards us. But I would hope that he's actually trying to get onto the island. Okay, the Panzer 2G's come into sight again. Can we get a shot at him? He's fired around in. It's just missed him. There's very little splash to the 25 pounder shells, by the way. It's only got a burst radius of 1.39, which means basically you have to actually hit the target. And the enemy did lose a Panzer 38T on the island, and they've now found that there's an M2 medium there as well. We're still going after that uh, Panzer 2G, though. An M2 medium has also been seen on the east side of the map, and the M15 is looking for him. It would really help us if the Panzer 38T could spot for us and find the enemy. He's moved around to the other side to see if he can spot that M2 medium. But the M15 can't find him either. And at the moment, we're aiming, well, in that spot. Oh, there's the M2 medium. And in fact, actually, we've spotted the Panzer 2G going into the castle grounds. He's after that Panzer 38. And we can't hit him now because he's gone behind the castle keep, which is right in the center. And, oh, he's just engaged our Panzer 38T, who's now in trouble, because he's taken some damage. Trying for a shot, rounds out, and, oh, no, he hit the castle keep. He's trying to guess where it might be. There he is. Okay, firing another round in as soon as we can work out where he is. Now, rounds out. Oh, kill shot and another directly one shot kill. And that's six kills. That's a top gun.
Right, well, we've got an enemy M15 near their camp. Oh, we just lost our M1542. And their M2 medium, well, he's still on the island. We can't hit their M1542. He's too close to the rock face. No, the shell's just not going to fall where we need them to. Oh, that's we've had some good news now. The M2 medium on the island's been taken out by our T29. And that means now the scores are even. One RT on each team. Our team has a medium and a light tank. Their team has a medium and a tank destroyer. Their tank destroyer is an FCM pack 36 pack 40. Now that's probably the most OP tank destroyer at this tier though. It's got a pack 40 gun. Which means it can really do some damage. Now by moving closer to the cap, he might stand a chance of firing around in to kill that uh, Pack 40. Trouble is we've got to find him first and we don't know where he is. Now, normally under these circumstances, you find some tank at the position in K4, and another one maybe in K5, and maybe one at K6 if you're lucky. But the trouble is, we can't really go up there to spot without getting hit or fired on. And taking blind shots, well, although that can help, with the splash being so low you probably wouldn't do a lot of damage. Okay, he's extending the aim, going after that M1542. Oh, there's the enemy M1542. He's actually in the north. And they found the Sexton 1 on the enemy team. Oh, we can't get a shot on the 1542 because the rock face is in the way. And in the meanwhile, we're missing the chance to get their Sexton 1. Unfortunately, we lost our Panzer 38T. And now we've lost sight of the enemy. This does rather put us at a bit of a disadvantage. The T29 might be about to find that enemy FCM 36 pack 40. If he is around that corner. And we're looking up in the north. Oh, there he is. Yes, he is down there. And yeah, that's what I feared might happen. It's a very powerful tank destroyer, the FCM 36 pack 40. And now we're all alone. All we can do is fire at him and hopefully... Oh, and we've been spotted and we've been hit by the, the pack 40 and killed. Oh, that was unfortunate. He did so well. But I think at the time he was aiming at the wrong targets and obviously that FCM 36 pack 40 was the priority. And here's the end of battle results. An ace tanker for Dr. Dip in the Sexton 1. He got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In that one he got eight. And he got two epic medals. He got the high caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle. And a top gun for getting at least six kills. He did get six exactly. And a win eight for the game was 9,236, which is super unicum standard. But unfortunately, it was a loss. It was a defeat. Let's have a look at the team scores. Well, 1,183 hit points of damage. He one-shotted so many tanks in that game. Literally wiped them out. But the one tank that he really needed to one-shot, he couldn't. And that was the reason he died. That FCM 36 pack 40, that's the one he needed to be focused on. Uh, and I felt, in a sense, actually, it was fairly obvious that that would be the corner where he was located.
anyway, he did get the highest damage. The next high score was Panzer 38T on his own team. We've got 602. And then it's the FCM 36 Pack 40 with 589. When it comes to kills, he managed to get the highest number six. The next highest scorer was the SM 36 pack 40, the M15 on the enemy team. They've got three apiece. And after that, it's the base XP. And I'm afraid it was that FCM 36 pack 40, got 533. Then their uh, Pants 2G managed to get 492. The M1542 got 462. And then we've got Dr. Dip with 437. So he did fairly well in, in terms of the fact that he actually got better than uh, 12 of the enemy team in XP, but um, yes, it was a loss. He certainly did better than the rest of his team. Let's have a look at the detail report. He fired 16 rounds, got six direct hits and five penetrations. So only one of those tanks that he actually hit that he didn't pen it to kill it. Uh, three splash, damage of 1,183 hit points, and all of it was at more than 300 meters. He received two hits, both from the FCM 36 pack 40, and both penetrated and killed him in the end. Seven enemy vehicles damaged, six destroyed. He earned 31,350 credits from that game, got 4,886 from Courageous Resistance. So his total came to 36,236 credits. But after repair, ammunition, resupply, and consumables, he took away 14,488 credits altogether. He picked up 655 base XP uh, on a premium, 396 for courageous resistance, 631 for premium vehicle tier, and 525 for a personal reserve bonus. So he took away 2,208 altogether from the XP total. But it, it was very promising in terms of the fact that he was getting so many one-shot kills. One after the other, bang, bang, bang. Just shows the power of the Sexton 1. It does aim very well. It does hit targets very well. And despite the fact that he actually has the same basic tank as the Sexton 2, which a lot of players find very, very difficult to master, simply because there are so many crew members and it takes so long to get them up to speed, with the Sexton 1 being a premium vehicle, you can get extra XP, which means your crew get trained much, much faster, and that makes it that much more accurate. So you can see the Sexton 1 is one of those premium artis you do want to get. In fact, there are only two premium artis in the game, and we keep telling Wargaming you really ought to bring out more premium artis, but they're too afraid of what the tank drivers might say if all of a sudden loads of premium artis appeared in the game. Well, I don't think many of those uh, tank drivers will be too concerned because most of these arties will be at tiers that they don't normally play in. And therefore, it is worth Wargaming's while to actually bring these tanks into the game, not just so they can make money, but also so that people can have fun and make the game more interesting. Anyway, if you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button. And thanks for watching.